Well, Senator Gregg was one of three Republicans President Obama nominated to his cabinet, including Robert Gates and Ray LaHood. So what does this mean for a president trying desperately to reach across party lines? And what does it mean for his plan to move the census into the White House? Reaction now from Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan. Congressman Jordan, thank you very much for joining us. What do you make thank of you. this news? Well, I would say this is sort of the last straw of a bad week for the Democrats. I mean, I mean, think about it. You have Harry Reid taking the unusual step of appointing himself to the conference committee. You have Chuck Schumer making the outrageous statement that Americans don't care that there's pork in this so-called stimulus bill. You have Tim Geithner, supposedly the smartest man on the planet, who gives a speech and the market drops 400 points. And now you have Senator Gregg who says that the census should be about mathematics and, status, uh, and statistics, not, not politics. And he understands that the stimulus package is going to do nothing to stimulate the economy. So I think it's just the, kind of the final thing of a, of a, of a really bad week for, uh, for the administration I, and for Democrats. You, you know, I'm not sure it was a bad week. I mean, they got an $800 billion stimulus plan, well, uh, plan pushed through. That's a pretty good week if you're a Democrat. Well, it's a, that's bad for the American people, and that's what Senator Gregg understands. Uh, you, you know, this, this package should be focused on what we know will grow the economy, which is t cutting taxes on small business owners, entrepreneurs, and families. We know that works. What we know that, that doesn't work is, is, is big federal government spending, because if big federal government spending was going to get us out of this mess, we'd have been out of it a long time ago, because that's all the government's been doing is spending taxpayer monies on crazy things like, like today's front page of the Washington Times, the, the salt uh, uh, marsh uh, mouse, $30 million for this wetlands restoration project, that's in this bill. The American people understand, unlike Chuck Schumer's statement, understand that pork in this bill is not what our economy needs. And I think Senator Gregg understands that and just felt for, for, for good reasons that he could not be a part of this, uh, this administration. But how does Senator Gregg going back, and he never really left, but going back to the Senate, does that change any dynamic? Well, unfortunately, no. They, they had the three votes they needed to, to get to 60, and, this, and the process is moving along. And as you indicated, Brian, it's, it's likely that this bill is going to pass tomorrow. Uh, but what I do think it underscores is what, what I've talked about. This bill is not the direction we need to move to help families, to help the economy, to help those small business owners out there who create the jobs. And that's why I'm opposed to it. That's why I believe you're going to see the majority of Republicans, okay. strong majority, uh, oppose it tomorrow. The, the majority, but will it be all again as in the I first vote? I really hope so. I mean, you know, there's been talk of bipartisanship. The bipartisanship we've seen is those who oppose this package. All 177 Republicans and 11 Democrats who came over on our side when this thing went through the House. I hope we see that tomorrow because the American people understand this is not about partisanship. This is about doing the right thing. And it is wrong to spend this kind of money to saddle our kids and grandkids with this kind of debt. Think about where we're headed. We're going to approach between 10 and 12 percent, uh, uh, this, this year's deficit, 10 and 12 percent of GDP. We have never been there before. What we're doing to future generations of taxpayers, future generations of Americans, this is unprecedented. And that's why we've got to stop this spending and focus on those things that will actually foster and promote economic growth, like reducing the tax burden on the small business owners who employ most of the people in this country. Congressman Jim Jordan, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Well, the Dow paired some sharp losses.